Well. I remember this day. I was in the area. Although I, I couldn't attend. <laughs> it's pretty much blocked off. It, this, these were all Scientologists from all over the area. All over the country that came here. They even had, uh, you know, Muskrat. Uh, oh wait, that's not his name. You know, the Hobbit. <laughs> that guy. I love this uh, picture of LRH, you know, he's like, I'm the thinker. <laughs> oh, shut Church of Sci Scientology in Sacramento, a landmark for spiritual freedom in California's capital. Goody. Grand opening on 28 January 2012. Scientologists, friends and guests from all over the state gathered for the grand opening of our new ideal org. An ideal org. That's a, that's what it is, huh? Of Sacramento. Guests also joined us from elsewhere across North America, including Oregon, Colorado, Texas, Missouri, Minnesota, New Hampshire, and Florida. And if ever there was a golden moment in Sacramento, it was on this day as the California sun graced our magnificent building at the corner of 6th and J. It heralded this extraordinarily extraordinary point in Scientology history, made possible by our dedicated and determined teams of Scientologists and friends. Yeah, they're all over where I work, pushing pamphlets, and free tickets, invitations. And they promise they'll make you a genius. Imagine how you feel when you get smart and you realize, oh, oh shit, I didn't spend that much. Yeah. Alright. Um, our new ideal church measures 57,000 square feet and was originally opened in 1930. We meticulously preserved its character and minimalized its environmental impact by using green technology to the rigorous and highest standards of the U.S. Green Building Council under their rating system for leadership in energy and environmental design, L-E-E-D, in parentheses. Yet, for all the outstanding features of our new ideal church, any Scientology organization is built of people. Yeah, corporations are people too. So are stormtroopers. Vikings and Mongols were, <laughs> were people, you know. Nazis were people. Serial killers were people. What's your point? <sighs> Sorry, what up? All right, yeah, people. In testament to that, we now comprise more than 160 staff, including 51 technical staff, 36 of whom are flag trained. All are on post in what is now Sacramento Day Org to service full-time public and Sacramento Foundation or to service on evenings and weekends. Together, we stand as two orgs and one team, ready to deliver Dianetics and Scientology services so you can rocket up the bridge to clear. Given that, this new church is as much a home to the community 
as it is to Scientologists, a great many friends the church has made and worked with over the years share in the grand opening. Yeah. Our first guest was the Honorable Mayor of Sacramento, Kevin Johnson, who, after performing at the highest level of competitive sports for 12 seasons, and is a three-time MD, M, NBA All-Star, uses equal skills and dexterity at the top tier of politics as our mayor. Hey. I voted for him. He is an avid uh, environmentalist, a catalyst for change, and a visionary who sees every citizen shaping the future of our nation from this capital. And the next speaker was California State Assemblyman, the Honorable Mike Gatto. He has worked with our church and individual Scientologists to bring important public issues to light in the state capitol, and it was an honor to have him partake in our grand opening. Next to take the podium was President of the Interfaith Council of Greater Sacramento, Mr. John Fish. His hallmark is in the promotion of mutual respect, cooperation, and community service. And we are proud to have him both as an advocate and as a friend. Then came President and CEO of Greater Sacramento Urban League, Mr. David D. Deluz, 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 who was for the last 15 years, who for the fa who, the, who for the last 15 years has dedicated himself in service to the Sacramento community, as in the governor's office, office where. He held the positions of Chief Community li Liaison and Deputy District of Community Partnerships. Right on. Our next guest was Bishop Ron Allen, founder of International Faith-Based Coalition, a coalition of more than 4,100 participating groups united in the purpose to end drug abuse and addiction. As a leading drug preventionist, he has played a significant role in reducing drug usage in our capital and has been recognized for his tremendous work, including by the Office of National Drug Control Policy in Washington, D.C. Yet, what marked this historic day as epic as our greatest privilege of welcoming our final guest, Chairman of the Board, Religious Technology Center, Mr. David Miscavige. That's the name. I thought it was Muskrat, sorry. Miscavige. He represents everything this day was about. Well, conversely, this day represented so much he is about. It was pretty showy, wasn't it? For he is the one who called us to fulfill L LRH's dream of ideal organization. I feel privileged to have it happen right by me. I just have that kind of luck. So we may then bring that legacy to everyone. He is also the one who has inspired us, helped us, and kept us on target in realizing our dream here in Sacramento every last step of the way, signifying the importance of this day 
Mr. Miscavige delivered a message that went straight to the hearts of everyone present. Aha. I even did some highlighting here. There's the Kev. And... Um, Mr. Honorable Gat Gato and da 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 da. Anyway, you, you remember who I was talking about. Alright. Honorable Kevin Johnson, Mayor of Sacramento. Exactly. <sighs> Mayor of Sacramento, Kevin Johnson. This building here is for the community. It's a building that will help us revitalize this downtown area. It's green certified, which is important for us. And we're going for the gold standard in LEED certification. I'm a huge supporter of what you are doing. About the green technology, probably. Uh, count on me to support your efforts and your work. I know we have something called the birthday game. That's capitalized. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look, that, look into that. The birthday game. Uh, if, you, if you know what that is, like, tell me what it is. Like me. And you have my support. I want to challenge Sacramento to do our best to win this birthday game. So, coming back a year from now, you will represent the whole state of California. Well, whatever that is, I hope we win it. Let's go for the gold, for the golden state. Hey, I'm all for it. All right. Honorable Mike Gatto, California State Assemblyman. I really appreciate that this church and CCHR are here. I appreciate that you take to heart the mission to protect our youth and to defend them against the Papa Pill culture. In many cases, you are the lone shining light in the darkness. The conscience of our society and an important dissenting voice that makes sure legislators and the public have all the facts. I'm especially thankful for this new Church of Scientology as I know that just inside these doors there's a wealth of information that California's decision, decision makers crucially need. So get in and get clear and help Scientology run the whole state. It's right by the Capitol. Uh, Mr. John Fish, President of the Interfaith Council of Greater Sacramento, I have seen the impressive work you do in the community and I have especially taken to your work to instill and strengthen moral standards and virtues. It's also been one of my pleasures in stewardship of the Interfaith Council to treat our entire board to the virtues of the Way of Happiness. That's one of their pub publications, one of their pubs. And it has been a great joy for me to learn more from that book. We welcome parishioners of the Church of Scientology in this new edifice, where members will grow spiritually and learn. <sighs> Mr. Dave D. Luce, President, CEO, Greater Sacramento Urban League, we have a few sayings. One is empowering communities and changing lives. You are living that mant mantra along with us. You 
are educating people on their rights and thereby building up the coming generation who are going to rely on to protect those rights who we're going to rely on to protect to protect those rights for everyone no matter their race creed color or religious faith didn't mention anyone who has no faith I guess we're in there we're a very diverse people here in Sacramento we come from everywhere It's that diversity and the fact that we can do, that we can and do work together as one that makes our city so great. It's a pretty damn good city. I like it. I was born here. I was kind of, kind of stuck on it. We need to nurture that. And that's especially where all of you come in because of because this is a church, not just open to everyone, but you freely give to anyone the many tools you have. <laughs> they don't give shit to you for free. <laughs> That's why this church is as much a gift to Sacramento as it is to your parishioners, Bishop Ron Allen Founder, Interfaith, International Faith-Based Coalition, and he's got one of those backwards collars, and a purple shirt. Uh, it wasn't until I was introduced to the truth about drugs four years ago that I could really get busy. These materials are already all over the place, but I want them everywhere. This program is the answer to the global epidemic. I want it mandatory for school children across America to go through the Truth About Drugs curriculum, which is Scientology. As a bishop and a pastor, I have a new gospel that I need to spread, and that is the truth about drugs. I'll capitalize it. It's, uh, it's all about humanity, and your curriculum has bridged the gap between all religions. I have brought this material to the Protestants and to the Jews, to the Buddhists, and the sheiks and the Christians and I'm going to say anything about the Muslims probably scared uh, you name it uh, there you go there's probably included them and the Baha'is and all that uh, and I have heard and I have never heard no <laughs> they'll take your money they'll never tell you no They'll just tell you more. When they see it, they want it right now. It's the best in the world. Everybody knows it. Let's see. Oh. Then we got our hero here. I think I'm going to break this up. I'll do this in the next video. That's a uh, muskrat. <laughs> Stay tuned or peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Bye.